here at Alumni Arena, Buffalo would be matching up against Kent State. A pretty good matchup for the Bulls as they entered this game 7 and 7 in conference play. Kent State entering 1 and 13 in MAC play losers of their last six. Buffalo would be inspired in this one. They'd get right off to a hot start, and it was because they were honoring their lone senior, Nikki Hopkins. Today, the Buffalo senior class encompasses one individual who has given everything, both athletically and academically, to the University at Buffalo. Number five, Nikki Hopkins. Nikki Hopkins gets her first points of the day here on senior day, and it's pretty fitting that it comes from long range, one of the best three-point shooters in the history of the Bulls program. Today is Nikki's day. Nikki's the kid that's been with us the whole season. She's been 100% with us, whether she was injured or not. She gave her all. This is her time to shine. So make certain you do all you can to help her do a good job. Hopkins with the skip pass all the way over the top, knocking down the three, and the foul is the freshman, Mackenzie Losing. I thought we did a great job the last game we played against Bowling Green. We held them a very good team to 56 points, probably the lowest that they scored all season, one of the lowest. And I thought that we did a great job. We just couldn't put the ball in the basket. Now we put two halves together, the, the offense and the defense. I, I don't think I've been a part of a team that held a team to nine points. Sharkey is able to bring down the rebound after Hopkins tipped it up to her. Dynamic duo down low of Kristen Sharkey, who finishes the game with nine points and eight rebounds, narrowly missing another double-double. And Krista Bacchus with eight points, six rebounds, and four blocks, really getting it done in the paint. Gets it inside to Cruz, and Cruz's shot is rejected with nine seconds on the clock. Well, we had a lot of deflections and steals on defense today, and I think to be able to stop their defense early and get on the offensive end you know, earlier than usual is a really good thing for our team, and we really showed that we can play, we come out, we can play defense. Buffalo was again led by their phenomenal freshman, Mackenzie Losing. Eight seconds on the shot clock, and picking the pocket there, stops and pops from the elbow, knocking it down in transition, Mackenzie Losing. Basket good by Mackenzie Losing. 17 points and four steals. Losing getting it done at the defensive end, leading to points at the offensive side and she was once again the leading scorer for the Bulls. As we showed in the first half, it really all starts with defense. Defense can really win games, and holding them to nine points and being able to get on the offensive end as much as we did is the reason I think we scored so much and we were able to meet such success. We were just playing together today and everybody was having fun, and I think when you let loose a little bit and take that pressure off and just play this game, now the way it's designed to play, you can have a lot of fun with it. Back out to Losing. Losing draws the double team. It's worked around Walton on the left side for three. Nothing but nylon. There's no high in team. Uh, there's no go-to players on our team. There'll never be a person that's going to be bigger than the, the, the actual team. And so any opportunity you have to take an open shot that, that you worked on, it's a green light. Wide open for three at the top of the key and knocking it down, Margo Gupalon. We just played to each other's strengths. Uh, we got the ball to the shooters. Once the shooters started hitting shots, it opened up the post a little bit and then we started feeding the ball inside and the post went to work today. And Charity Thornton with another double digit performance right on her average. 11 points, three rebounds and one assist. As Hopkins gets it. Nice pass over the top there to Moss. Moss drives in, kicks out wide open for three is Charity Thornton. I love this time of year. I want to go far in March. I love to be a part of a group of young ladies that, that understand the magnitude of the moment. March is just a, this is a dance, you know. I even dance at home now. You know, this, I don't ever dance at home. I don't dance outside at all. But at home, I dance in March because it, I just want to get my body used to what it's supposed to feel like at this time of the year. I think our kids are really understanding that a little bit now. I think that we're going to see us playing it a lot in March and, and in, in the near future. And my hope is that we can extend this a long time for a couple reasons. One, selfishly, I like to play in March, but most importantly, is so that we can keep Nikki a lot longer. Here's Buffalo breaking the pressure with Moss. Moss lobs it over to Bandelman. Bandelman, cross court pass to Hopkins. Hopkins with a pump fake and finds Bandelman there at the free throw line. Good turn and look there to Corinne Moss and feel the stampede. It was a very unselfish game for Buffalo. 21 assists as a team on 29 made shots, and Buffalo really cashing it in in the second half when they were red hot. And Corinne Moss steps in front of the pass, tips it out in front to herself, and she'll race into the front court. She'll get the steal and the deuce. Corinne Moss with 11 points here today, and Buffalo in front now, 81-45 with 40 seconds to play.
UB Bulls will have their first round of the conference tournament at home at Alumni Arena. Tip-off is at 2 o'clock on Saturday.